Hello again everybody, I haven't made a video in a while so I thought I'd make a series of videos going through the manual and the RC600 parameter guide. Kicking off with this one, um, this is a question that I keep getting asked about inputs and outputs. So um, we, will make, we will talk about the inputs first of all. So you can see at the back of the RC600 you've got two mic inputs uh, upside down and you've got a left and right instrument one and a left and right in instrument two. And what that means is you can actually split those signals up. So let's say you want um, to EQ things differently in the left of instrument one than you do to the right of instrument one, if you wanted to do it that way, or you could actually have two different instruments going into that particular instrument input, if you like, you can do. So we'll talk about that first of all. Let's go to the menu and we go to the input and setup. So if we run through everything first of all, you can see that you've got your um, phantom power. If you were using a condenser mic, you can switch that on and off for each microphone that you want to use. And you've also got a gain uh, if you want to switch between a line in and an instrument in. So say, let's say you were using an MP3 player or a CD player or whatever you might be using to send a different kind of signal that's not an instrument into that instrument input. Uh, let's go across and you can see that you can also split the stereo links, so this is what I was talking about before. So you might sort of automatically off anyway, but let's say instrument one, you wanted to split the, in, the input signal left and right, then you would split that by just um, selecting off there for instrument one. You can do the same for instrument two if you wish. So what that means is if I go back one and go to my EQ settings, you can see now I've got instrument one left and instrument one right. So if I wanted to EQ those separately, I can do. And just to show you that it's not always like that, if I go back over here, split that, uh, put that back to on, and then go back to EQ, you can see I've just got instrument one and instrument two. So because I've only got a, the way that I've got things, I've got a guitar going in to instrument one. So that's just one guitar signal going in. And then I've got a pair, stereo pair for my um, keyboard when, I'm, when I decide to use keyboard sounds go in instrument, instrument two. So let's go back. So that's all my ins and outs, if you like. I'm not gonna go into the settings of the EQ um, and all that kind of stuff in this video. It's just a very quick overview of the ins and outs. And then with your outputs, you've got a main output, left and right, which again can be split. You've got sub one and you've got sub two, and obviously you've got a headphone output. And you can see that I'm using a, a left, the left um, of my mains. So that's just because I'm going into one um, speaker if you like at the moment but if I was say doing a gig I might use both of those to go into a pair or into a PA. Sub 1 I'm not currently using and Sub 2 is just a return going back to my Boss Katana. So I've got with the FX loop at the back of that I plug my guitar straight in and the FX loop at the back is sending to instrument 1 which is why it's got black tape around it so I know which one it is and then returning from sub output 2. Um, so that probably will come in handy when I talk through my output settings in a minute. So let's go. Output. Let's go to setup first of all. Forget about that for the time being. We'll just talk about these the, the stereo link. So I've got a stereo pair going to main. Stereo to sub 1 if I decide to use that. And if, look, I've split sub 2 because I only, I'm only concentrating on the left for this one. So that's why it's off. If it was on, that would be a stereo going out there as well. But I can split that, so when I go to my sub-2 settings, you can see a left and a right if I wanted to um, have different signals or different um, things that I want to send out of the left and right of sub-2. It will make more sense when I talk about things properly in a minute. And then again, you can change your output settings from system to memory if you wanted to change them per memory or across your system. So this is the main thing now with the routing. If I go to routing, Forget about track, I'll come back to that in a minute. And we're talking about input and rhythm. So with the input routing, I can send my instruments to certain, sorry, my inputs with the instruments going to certain outputs. And we'll talk about that first of all. And I can also send the rhythm, uh, if I want to use any rhythms within the RC600 to certain outputs. So if we look for the first, very first page, I've got my main output. So everything is going to my main. So that means all of my instruments, all of my rhythms, microphones, 
they're all going to go to my main output which in my case is my pa um, or speakers whatever i'm using if i'm practicing at home i just have one speaker plugged in if i'm out gigging then i'll use i'll go into a mixer into a pa so that's my main so everything goes there sub uh, sub one i'm not currently using but i might use that for something else at some point and then sub two this is what we're talking about before it's splitting in left and right so nothing other than instrument one is going to sub two and that's because through my boss katana i only want my guitar signal going through i don't want any drums going in there or bass or any vocals going in there at all so it's just my instrument one that's going there so everything else is off and it's dead easy to do that you can just toggle across and turn and press it down to turn it on and off so it's just instrument one and then as well i only sub to uh, right signal it's just instrument one as well um, not that that matters with my current setup but that's the way that it is at the moment so that just means let me just go back there make sure i've not missed anything that's it so that just means that i'm sending the right things to the right outputs if you like so i could say my main output everything's going there and then just my sub two it's just a return to my amp so it's just my guitar signal that i'm interested in going out that way and then lastly we're going to talk about the track setting so if you imagine I've got track one, track two, track three, track four, track five, and track six, because that's the way I like to set things up. I actually do a lot of things in single mode, so um, it's a bit different for me. But if you were doing things in multi mode, and let's say you want um, a percussion sound on, on or percussion sounds on track one, bass line on track two, and say guitar on track three, you might send all of your track three to um, all of the outputs. But with the way that I've done it, is everything's going to the main output, which all of my tracks go to main. Um, I'm not too fussed about sub one, but with sub two, you can see I've turned everything off because I don't want I don't want anything going from my tracks going to my guitar amp, and that's because if I'm layering up different instruments on track one, let's say I'm using this as a, a verse, this is a bridge, and this is a chorus, and I've got percussion guitar, vocals, all on here, well that means that that's all going to go to the amplifier and I don't want that to happen. So it is very different if you're doing things that way in single mode. So you uh, very simple to do, you would just go across, so it's like sub output two, and then you can just go across and turn everything up, off for those tracks. So now all six tracks, there aren't going to be any signals going to sub output one and two from my tracks that I've recorded go into that amp now. Um, so that's the way that I set things up. But let's say you do want, like we talked about, you do want your guitar. If you're going to record your guitar on um, track three, maybe track three and four, let's say you're definitely going to use these two for your guitars. Well, and you do want it to go through your amp, then you just go across to track four and you turn it on. And track three, turn it on. And you do the same um, this way. So there you go. So that would be sending tracks three and four to your sub outputs, as well as your mains, because they're already on, and sub one, let's say. Um, and there's a way of doing that with your headphones. I'm not going to go into that today as well. So in a nutshell, everybody, that's um, your inputs and outputs. I will be making further videos, like I said earlier, in the coming days and weeks. Um, in the meantime, consider the usual like share subscribe i've even got an option now to buy me a coffee so if you wish if you find anything useful in my series of videos and you know i've ever managed to help you out in any way you're always welcome to buy me a coffee at any time thanks very much for all your support for your comments and your feedback and everything um, and i will see you all in the next one ta-ta